And that is why you should never put your cat in the blender. Matthew? In other important news, the long-awaited episode 48 of the Super Bowl Saga comes out in theaters tonight at 5.30. Fans were lined up around the block for this blockbuster movie. Tickets were sold out months ago. That's right, Matthew. Despite some critics commenting that they thought the plot was written by a 12-year-old, this epic battle of seagulls versus ponies could be the highest grossing movie of the year. Now, we have one of the teasers here. Let's take a look at it for just a minute. Now that is intense. Now this is an interesting movie because there is actually no defined hero or villain. Uh, during an interview, the director of the film said that this film is not about right and wrong, but rather about what war can do to a man. That's a powerful statement, Matthew. It sure is. This guy is basically saying that you shouldn't care so much about doggone football! Uh, do not know that I can talk. Anyway. The most interesting thing is that there have actually been no leaks surrounding this movie as of yet, even so close to its release. This has actually caused many betting pools to open up around the country, which is really interesting because gambling has been illegal for a very long time and the police are actually trying to crack down on these. The majority of people who have fallen into the sucker's bet are actually, someone that would surprise you, women in their early 20s. Hmm. It's quite fascinating. I know that I have uh, invested about $20 million into the stocks myself. But... <laughs> Do you get paid that much? A day. It's it's no big deal. I just, want. just a day's wage. I want your job. Um, switch yeah. those back. But I've also invested two of my three kids in it, and uh, hoping to win some more. Two, so two of your three kids. That is a yeah. lot. I have been, actually been hearing stories of this though. There are people betting their entire livelihoods upon this one movie. The outcome. It's, it's crazy what could happen if one team or the other wins in this movie. I figured it was a win-win situation because uh, either I go through uh, adopting two more kids without having to do any of the, uh, the, the paperwork, or I have two less mouths to feed. So either way, I come that, out on top. That does sound like a win-win. Uh, very, very good thinking on your part, Jason. So, uh, on to more important news. Um, Dr. Horrible's Sing Along Vlog 2, are the rumors true? tonight at 11. That's right, Matthew. Despite some critics commenting that they thought the plot was written by a 12-year-old, this epic battle of seagulls versus ponies could be the highest grossing film of the year. Yeah, that's true, and we even have a crappy dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely have a crappy dialogue. <laughs>